Hello everyone. In today's class, we are going to see how to use gradient tool and create posters in Adobe Photoshop. This poster is being created using gradient tool and text tool. Gradient tool have lots of types. So let's start. Creating a new document using Ctrl plus N or in the menu section. From here, press G on the keyboard or select the gradient tool from the toolbar. With the gradient tool selected, the new gradient bar is on the top left, helps us to create new gradients or adjust the old gradients. If you click on the gradient bar, it will open the gradient editor. Here we have presets gradient. We can use those or we can edit those. Let me show you how to edit the gradients and create new gradients. Now if I click on each of the preset gradients, you will notice the gradient bar changes. To use the presets gradient, select any one of the gradient. Let me select this gradient and give OK. Create a new layer using Ctrl plus Shift plus N or use layer panel to create. Now let's use the gradient tool by clicking and dragging along the area that you want to apply. We got the gradient in the document. Now we have various methods to apply this gradient. Let me teach you. Have a look. Give Ctrl plus Z to undo. Now we are going to create this gradient straight in the document, not like before. So for that, click and drag, but if you use shift and create this gradient, it will come straight. And the second thing is, the amount of pressure you give to apply this gradient matters. Just have a look. Now let's change the color of the gradient. Click the gradient bar. It will open the gradient editor. If you look the gradient bar, we have small little boxes which we can use to change the color and we can also create small boxes like that to add a color. So for example, let me select this box and change the color and show you. Now let's add some colors in between the gradient bar. For that, if you take your cursor near the gradient bar, you can see a hand option. If you click, it will create the boxes. So you can change your color. We can also create a new gradient and save it. Select the gradient from the preset and change the colors we need. Or drag the box if you want to delete it. You can see the diamond shape. If we drag those, we can adjust the midpoints of the color and feather too. If it is done, click new. A new gradient will appear in the preset section. Now we can select it and use it. Photoshop has a feature in the menu section for gradient tool like reverse, dither and transparency. Reverse, as we all know, it will reverse the gradient like this. Dither, what this will do is mix in some noise to help the gradient to blend smoothly according to the tonal values which we have given in our canvas. Now let's see about the style menu. Linear, Radial, Angle, Reflected, Diamond. Linear is a direct transition between one color to another in the given direction. Radial sets one color point in the middle transition to the outer color. Angle sets a color gradient wrapping around the image starting with one color and transition into other with the harsh line between where they meet. Reflected is a line, one of the colors which either side of the line transitioning into the secondary color. Diamond is similar to radial except it's more diamond shape. Let's see how to create linear gradient in Adobe Photoshop. Create a new document with the Instagram poster size. Apply the same document size which I give here and just give OK and unlock the layer. Let's place the image, go to file, place, place the image. Let's scale using Ctrl T. Create a new layer and the shortcut for gradient tool is G. Select this gradient tool and select the linear gradient. Just click and drag. The gradient will be created. Now go to blending options and apply screen. You can see that we got the gradient tool effect we need. 
Now select the layer and give control T and scale it and give layer mask to that layer. Go to brush tool and select soft brush and just brush where you need. You can see there we got the gradient effect which we want in the poster. Now I'm going to type the text which we need. Have a look how I type the text and how I use the typefaces. This is how we create a poster using gradient tool, that too using a linear gradient. How to use radial gradient and create posters. So this is the example how to use radial gradient. Let's see about radial gradient and blending mode option in Adobe Photoshop. Open the image which you want to give the radial gradient effect. Now unlock the layer first. Let's create a new layer. Go to gradient tool and select radial gradient. Click and drag from the center. Now go to blending option. If you want to remove the white, give multiply. If you want to remove black, just give screen. If you see here, the radial gradient is not enough. So select the layer and give control T, use shift and drag to get that effect which we saw in the example poster. Now let's start creating the text. You know how to create the text in a poster. I hope the video was useful. Thank you.